As uh, Hurricane Irma continues its path towards uh, Florida, along the way, by the way, devastating uh, multiple islands. Uh, we've been seeing news throughout the day about that. Uh, many along the way are evacuating, uh, some are getting away if they can. Obviously in the islands it's difficult, some uh, fleeing to different sorts of shelters. But there are certain areas where if you do intend to go to a shelter, you better bring your paperwork because the uh, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is going to be screening everyone that tries to get into one of these shelters in his county to make sure that you've never broken uh, any laws. He tweeted this, if you go to a shelter for hashtag Irma and you have a warrant, we'll gladly escort you to the safe and secure shelter called the Polk County Jail. This is a man with his priorities in order. Uh, he says if you have a warrant, turn yourself into the jail, it's a secure shelter. I guess that's trying to save himself the paperwork, I suppose. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna go to some of the other quotes of this guy because uh, he's kind of an a-hole historically. Um, but look at that, I mean, some people are gonna look at that and think, oh, well, yeah, I mean, you don't want, you don't want people who are breaking the law in a shelter. But what you probably also don't want is uh, most of the police that are supposed to be helping people instead spending all their time going back through the personal histories of everyone who tries to get a blanket and a roof over their head. Sounds like a big government bureaucracy to me. Um, yeah. So there's a couple of issues here. Uh, one is, I don't want, just like John said, I, forget the paperwork. I don't want the cops driving back and forth between the jail. Like yeah. let's go. There's a hurricane yeah, category they, they five coming. They can't do that anyway once the hurricane hits. <laughs> yeah, there's a category five coming. It's the biggest hurricane that has ever been recorded in the Atlantic Basin. Let's prioritize here, okay? Yeah. Now, look, I know what he. One of the things he said later is that we we don't want innocent children to shelter with sex offenders. So, okay, that's fair, and nobody wants that. But. What, what well, remember how broad our sex offender laws are in the US. Like if you're an 18 year old that streaks like a football field or something like that, you're a yeah. pedophile for the rest of your life. No, no, I know, I know, but I, I don't wanna get into distinctions okay. of child sex offenders. It's not the time, okay? Yeah. Because if you start talking about that, on the other hand, people have minor traffic violations, they couldn't pay it, and then now they have, there's a warrant for them, or they didn't have insurance when they were driving. Look, you can do pray to the horribles on both ends. This yeah. is not the time, get people into shelters because while you're doing paperwork outside and, and discouraging people from coming to shelters just in case they had a traffic ticket or a fine or whatever it yeah. was, people are gonna die. So let's rescue everybody first and then if you're the sheriff, isn't it your job to in normal times to go serve those warrants? You'd think. Like isn't like, so what are you trying to shirk your duty here? Like oh man, it's such a pain in the ass to go try to find those people yeah. and really if there's a, sexual uh, offender uh, out in the loose so that has attacked children and you haven't caught him, well go catch him before the hurricane, yeah. catch him the other 364 days. Week. Yeah, and of course, I mean, there's the, the people who did something like, I, I don't know, God knows what, what you could have a warrant out for that isn't as bad as he's making it sound, who theoretically won't go to a shelter and might now die in the hurricane. But then there's also the chilling effect of, that they're purposefully, like they do in elections, when they say all of your paperwork is gonna be checked and they're gonna go back over your history. It's a lot of people are now gonna be scared that some out of control police are gonna be rooting around in their personal history, intimidating people and all of that stuff. And they won't necessarily feel safe going to the shelter now. Even if they don't have a warrant out on them, some people are gonna be scared away from this and they're gonna be outside when the hurricane hits and lives will be lost. I don't even think that's a side effect of what he's doing. I think that's the goal of what he's doing. He's not trying to catch a couple of people with warrants. He's trying to keep the uh, the, the shelters stocked with just the sort of people that he's comfortable with. Well, part two, this is a good illustration of how a lot of politicians, he's not a politician, but he's trying to look a certain way like a politician would. He wants to look like a tough guy. Bottom line, he has no, uh, maybe he doesn't, I'm speculating completely here. What's the level of plan that he has to check every person that comes in. He wants to put out an APB and say, hey, everybody, I'm the tough guy. And whoever wants to come in here and deal with this tough guy is gonna have to deal with this tough guy, because yeah. I'm a tough guy. Hey, aren't I a good sheriff? It's all self-promotion. Yeah. So whatever it is, is once you wanna make yourself look a certain way so that you don't have to actually do any other work, I'm getting everybody that comes in here. Go ahead, be a Yeah, time. well, look, I saw, uh, my take on it was slightly different than you guys, because it was gonna be the one time that police got good press for helping people, and he's like, I got a great plan to ruin it. <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> Help us build independent media together. Come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.